Okay, um, almost good afternoon, but good morning. Uh, on Friday, your activity, your task is to video yourself, to film yourself doing a number talk. And we've done number talks in class, so I think you all should know what's going on, but I thought I'd model the way you might present one at home because you probably don't have a whiteboard. Um, so basically the idea of a number talk for parents out there watching this as well is to get kids, to get them away from being overly reliant on using pen and paper um, in the traditional sense of structuring it and to get them to really think about what they're doing. Okay, so for example, learning, so you can apply multiplication outside of the, the traditional times tables. So hopefully if I'd said to a student, what's 23 times three, ideally they'd be able to say, well, 20 times three is 60, three times three is nine, so 69. Ideally, that's what we're wanting to build up in them. Okay, so I've got a cat walking across the front here. So the way, given you won't have a, a whiteboard, probably at home, this is the way I would do it. So let's say, let's say the sum that we're working out is three times 200 and 45 okay so if i'm doing my number talk i and i was i wanted to write make notes i could write it like this i might say okay well i know we need to know what 245 threes are so i'm going to break this into three parts i want to know what three times that two is which that's 200 it's not a number two it's 200 so three times 200 and I know that three times two is six, and I can put my two zeros on the end. To, so three times 200 is 600. I need to know what three times 40 is. Three times four is 12, and I bang my zero on the end, so it's 120. And my last one is three times five, and that's just th five is in the ones column, so it's just a regular old three times five, which is 15. Now I'm going to add these three together. And this is quite big. I might say, well, I know, I know 600 plus 100 is 700. I know 700 plus 20 is 720. You don't have to go this detailed, guys, but this is just a very um, in-depth way that I'd think it out. And then I've got 720 plus the 15. Is 735. So that would equal 735. You don't need to go, you don't need to do all this bit in depth. Okay. In our own heads, we probably, we're probably more going, adding these up. Um, have a go, have a play. Again, it's, if you're very strong with your times tables, you may not need to write anything. You might just be looking at the camera and explaining three times 200 is 600, three times 40 is 120, three times five is 15. So 600 plus 120 plus 15 equals 735. If you're really great at math and you don't need to make a single note like this, Awesome, do it that way. Most of you, I think, will still be leaning towards something like this. Okay, you don't have to do it this way. The other option with this one, I guess we could say, well, you if your brain works this way, you might say, well, that's almost 250. So you might say, what's well, three times 250? And then I'm taking away five groups of three. Taking away five groups of three, which would give us 735 as well. I think most of you have, have worked in this way though, breaking it into your 200s, your 40 and your five. Okay, so this is how I'd like you to present it. If you can, you don't have to look at the camera, but I want the I want to see you either you're working out or if you're an ace, you don't need a pen and paper, talk to the camera and explain what's going on. Okay, thanks. So that's Friday, sorry, Friday, I'd like that.
Thanks a lot.